Hey everyone, this is Tintin on Air, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cute Christmas milkshake. So yeah, let's get started. The materials that you'll be needing are going to be silicone, and you can get these at your local hardware store for $2, and I use Alex Plus Dat. And you're also going to need an icing tip. You're going to need a toothpick. You're going to need some wires and tweezers. You're going to need um, your cup, milkshake cup, and you're going to need some things you're going to put on there. So I just um, um, have like some beads and little polymer clay creations. And you're going to be needing some glitter. And I'm, all, I'm going to be uh, making a Christmas one, so I'm using Christmas colors. And you're going to be needing and yeah, oh, and you're also going to be needing a straw. So, yeah, let's get started. So, start off with your little basic container, and you're going to take your silicone and you're just going to squeeze a lot of it for the bottom. So, I'm just going to go ahead and brown scribbles in. just so that it gives a little bit of color. So I'm going to add a bit of that inside, and now I'm going to mix it. Another thing is that if you're using a very, very tall container or a fat one, then a good thing is that um, you can you could take tissue paper and you could put it at the bottom so it looks like silicone because if you just fill it up with silicone, you're going to be wasting your whole bottle. So I suggest that you mix silicone with tissue paper at the bottom so it looks realistic and Once you're not going to be finish the top as... half, you're going to proceed onto the top half. So to do the top half, you're going to just squeeze silicone all the way till it reaches the very, very top and then stop. So um, the good thing is just to go around it. So then you're going to sort of just mix it, like mix the sides in like this. So you're only going to poke the sides. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but um, you're going to have to poke the sides like so, so that the color mixes in so you can actually see the color has changed. So for a milkshake, you I'm going to put the dollop at the side, so I'm going to make um, quite big of a dollop just here at the side so it looks like that shape so now you're gonna take your wire and you're just gonna cut um, a little piece of it maybe just around eight centimeters or five centimeters and it all depends because my um, cup here is very small and it's not very deep so I'm gonna cut a smaller one if you have a longer container then you're gonna cut maybe a longer wire so now I have this I'm just going to take the top of it and I'm gonna make a, a tiny little loop it doesn't have to be tiny um, it, just be, it could be small it depends on um, how big of a picture you're putting it on so I'm gonna put just a normal picture so I'm gonna So once you made your loop, you're going to put the end of the wire and you're just going to wrap it around that wire. And you should have somewhat of a straight line. And it should look like this so that it's wrapped. And now you have that, you're going to take a longer piece of wire and this will be for your shape. So I'm going to be doing a heart. You can do any shape you want. But you have to make sure that there's a loop in the shape. So I'm going to take piece of wire and um, it has to be a bit longer than the previous one. If it's too long, you just cut it. So, uh, ten centimeters. And this long. And now you're going to start off one end of it and you're going to just attach it um, to this end. We're not going to attach it yet. You're just going to measure it and just see where it actually goes. So now, Make a shape in the heart, so. 
I'm going to attach the heart um, to this loop. So you should have something like this when you're done. And the two loops should almost be touching. It's okay if it touches, that's fine. Um, if it overlaps, then that's fine too. Okay, so now I'm just going to attach it on by... So as you see here, I close the heart by simply wrapping the two wires together and um, now you're gonna take another piece and this piece um, will be pretty important because you're gonna be connecting the heart to the base of it. So we wanna measure, so I'm gonna just cut a little piece because I'm not gonna use that much. Tiny little piece. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna wrap one end around the end of the heart. So I'm gonna just wrap it around and I'm gonna secure it. So in the end, it should look something like this. So the basically, you have to have two loops, one loop um, on top and one at the bottom. And because um, you want this is because you can hold something in between. And I'll be showing you that later. And you want to have a, like, sort of like a straight bottom. So once that's done, you can just stick that in here. So to put the image in, you just have to slide it in between this loop and the bottom loop. So basically you just slide it in between these two and yeah, you have your image. Hope you guys like it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!